Shane Red Out Fire Chief of Bear County ESD8. Here going over this up in final inspection. So we're at Bear County, not Bexar. We are in the northwest corner of the county, which is where San Antonio is located, and we take care of the uh, very northwest corner of the county. We're about 34 square miles of a very diverse residential area. The first split roof Sutphin has put together on the SLR 75. Serial number one. As you can see, it's a blackout package. We chose blackout package for a couple reasons. One, some of our trucks that are all chromed out end up with some very hard water spots, and we're hoping this black here will help some of that. We are changing some other things that we do for it, and it just made it look like a very sharp, clean truck with it being on a blackout package. We went with a lot of bright lights throughout this area because a lot of our region is very dark. These are all the FireTech HD lights. We're trying to make sure that tradition of pride stays in there where we've highlighted our name there on the front. We've also gave the firefighters a choice of some stuff that we could do for our region. And this truck is going to be located at a station that is in that region there of Crim Fall. multiple warning systems on this truck. We put several different audible devices on here. We have the regular air horn system. We have a train horn system. We have a prowler siren system. Some things that we had added, which we'll show more on the other side, is we did put a hose reel red line on this apparatus. So it's going to be a ladder truck that has a hose reel. We also requested that we put an air horn on the pump panel for evacuation purposes. We're gonna try to maximize everything we can. This will be a quint. We will run this as a quint. It will be a ladder, but we'll also be running as a full-blown pumper. So we're trying to maximize as much as we can with ladders, tools. We've added multiple pike pole or New York hook closet hooks. We'll have three here. We have three up there. And we actually added two more over here. We will have a thousand foot of five inch. And then we will have a special three to two and a half inch load beside it. We'll have a rear discharge here as well. We're going to be dealing with FMI to do some more. <clears throat> We're looking at trying to get a setup in here to run power tools. We ran back in for electric in here to make a charge. We'll be running it through the shoreline. And we'll have all of our hand power tools that battery operated on chargers on a bank. One of probably the few trucks that have a ladder on it that will be coming with a hose reel and a red line. I believe that it is a good feature to always have for a simple mop ups, for decon purposes, for quick cleaning of your tools. It's a quick engineer's hose to grab if needed as well. Uh, again, because we're where we're at in hill country, while we do have several brush trucks, this could be already out and this is a simple grab to get your little grass fires and median fires knocked out, not having to pull the line. So this one here, we ran another 110 and 12 volt. <clears throat> We're gonna make this our medical compartment. We still will run first response off this vehicle as well. And we were hoping to put our life pack 15 in here, our suction units in here, and some of the other things that charge the Lucas device. So that's where we plan on trying to keep all of our medical equipment right here. Also again, off the side, which is pretty typical for our operation. We run all the medical equipment off of this side of the vehicle. The other thing we're pretty proud of is the seat. We were able to get a customized seat and put our emblem inside the seat. 
So this has uh, been a long process for us. We've gone through quite a bit of change in the recent years in that we were an all volunteer department. We went into an ESD. Prior to that, we were in the community of Gray Force VFD. And so throughout this, we had some changes. And so our original patch in some of the original area we had was this tree. So we're, we were able to keep this tree as we move in, as we go through these changes. We also want to keep some of our past that people can recognize. So we were able to put that in there. So we were able to get the new logo on the seats as well. But we're pretty happy with this overall outcome of this vehicle. We just want to give a, a good thanks to Sutphin. They've been a phenomenal dealership or manufacturer in Texas Fire Apparatus as our vendor. And this was put out to a committee. We were able to get out to five different vendors and manufacturers on this apparatus. And when it came down to our actual grade sheet, we, we did put a complete grade sheet together for this. TFA and Suffin were able to match our bid spec sheet. Very minor change orders were on this build. I think the overall experience has just been phenomenal. Coming from Randy showing up and his staff showing up and helping us. Getting up here and doing a pre-con with Adam and going over many of the finite details that simple firefighter committee just doesn't know and was able to put it all together and then to be able to work as a team to come with a completion. I just believe this is a phenomenal build and we look forward to other builds with this 